What's up you guys, Luke here and welcome to another Black Ops 2 Best Guns and Worst Guns gameplay. As you may have known yesterday, I decided to do my favourite gun in Black Ops 2, which of course was the Peacekeeper SMG. Now of course, moving on to today, I've decided to do my least favourite gun. But you may be asking, why did I pick this gun? Of course, this gun is the SWAT 556. Of course, it's an assault rifle and of course, this time it's got the diamond camo, which of course I achieved actually the day after New Year's, uh, New Year's Day. But of course, you may be thinking, why did I pick this gun? Well, the reason why I basically picked this gun is because it's not diverse. And if you did watch yesterday's version, which well, I definitely advise you to watch because I actually felt it went quite well and it pretty much proved my point of guns in Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I basically described that the Peacekeeper SMG is a very diverse gun. Now, on the other end of the spectrum here is, of course, the piece, not the Peacekeeper, it's the SWAT 556, which basically is a gun which is really good on certain areas, on certain parts of the map, on certain distances. But if you start playing the gun, which I'm doing here, on a kind of map which can be long range, but also short range, it's because of the yeah, a really short range kill, but of course, I just get completely murdered by any other gun. Because this gun, as you, if you, as you may know, is a three round burst. Now, if you put Select Fire on it, it's quite a good gun, but if you leave it as the free burst, it kind of becomes quite... You have to really specialise like, trying to get close range to medium range kills. Now, long range, you should be able to pick up quite easily with this gun, but... Um, it's one of these guns which is good if you can control it, if you know how to use it, if you've got the right attachments, if you've got the right experience to using it. But if you're not very used to Call of Duty, it may not be the best gun to use straight off the bat. Basically, the reason they ever, ever started with using free round burst was basically from the famous, and I believe Modern Warfare 2, I believe, was a free round burst famous. But actually, that gun was such an overpowered gun, but then again, most guns in Modern Warfare 2 was quite overpowered. But uh, we're moving back onto Black Ops, and uh, as you can see, there wasn't that many overpowered guns as such. They are quite low-powered guns, and again, they're moving on to Modern Warfare 3. Again, start getting a little bit more overpowered. So, as you came into Black Ops 2, they tried to be a bit cheeky with the guns. I tried to make it not overpowered, but in trying to make guns not overpowered or underpowered, they kind of made it some over and some under, which uh, kind of pretty much represents how average day life is with guns. You, you always get different guns for different areas, you know. You don't see sniper rifles actually doing really good at close range in real life battle situations, but um, yeah, that's pretty much how this gun is. It's a, it's a good gun at long range, as you can see, I'm picking these guys off, although it's not actually quite hard to do this. In, uh, the, although I do make it look quite easy, it's actually quite hard, but um, it, anyway, I'm not as like this as they're in the middle of the video. If you guys do have your favourite gun, please leave it in the comment section below saying my favourite gun, and then saying what gun it is, and put, saying if there's any attachments you want me to add on to it, because I may do a video on, on a future date, and possibly mention you in a video. The same again, if you have a least favourite gun you want, to, you want me to test out in Black Ops 2, want me to do any attachments to it, or remember, put your name in it, obviously that'd be in the comment section, but, but tell me what gun it is, tell me if it's your worst or best gun, and explain to me if there's any attachments you want me to add on to it, and possibly if it will help me out even more if you actually put a description that's saying why you don't like that gun, or why you do like the gun, that would definitely become very much in handy for me, but um, yeah, anyway, yeah, the actual, this gun, as I always keep saying, it's not a bad gun, but as you might have known in my, uh, my Peacekeeper video, in fact, the actual Peacekeeper is good because it's a good all-rounder, it's one of these guns that you can use on almost every situation in Black Ops 2. And of course this guy starts getting this a little bit annoyed while talking in it, so I apologise if you hear this, this guy talk. Oh, of course I mute him. Yeah, that guy's getting really annoyed. This is a match, I don't know why he's doing it for, but oh well, I apologise for that one. But, um, yeah. It's really hard to explain why I don't like this gun, because there's many guns that I'm not good at using. And this gun is quite good, but it's just one of these guns which you need to pick, you have to... Basically, the attachments you have to have to get well at it. It's not one of these guns that you can have free roam with the attachments, you can pick whatever attachments you want, because if you do, it's really easy to make this gun underperform, which, um, one of the things that I liked about the Peacekeeper SMG, which I keep referring back to, because that is my favourite gun, and probably best to the opposite scale, because it's an SMG and this is a long-range assault rifle, but, um, yeah, basically, with them kind of guns, you know, the Peacekeeper, you can actually have any attachment on it and it will work. Obviously, with this gun, it will work, because it's not going to start like, backfiring on you, but... If you put a wrong attachment, as you can see here, I'm trying to hit that guy, missed a couple of times, somehow randomly throw a grenade into the kitchen, don't know why, but oh well. As you can see, look, it took an entire magazine to almost, not even kill the guy, because it was getting close, it, my gun, it kind of sprays too much, it's one of these guns where you have to be very precise to get the kill. This gun basically, yeah, okay, good review, but basically, this gun itself, 
is more, it should have been more a sniper. I think that's what this gun wanted to be. It wanted to be a sniper. It wasn't given the pro proper genes. It was given a sort of a body. It was like, oh shit, well, what are we going to do here? Try and become a sniper rifle. And of course, it tries to be. But it, it, it's not a bad gun. And I know people might be saying, oh, why is this, you know, your personal worst, worst gun? It's just. It's just because when I had to do the, you know, 150 kills without any attachments or perks, it got very, very frustrating. It probably took me the longest of all the assault rifles, and for that reason, and that reason, that reason alone, I pretty much cast this as my least favourite gun. Not that it's the worst gun, although, in some eyes, in some perspectives as well, it could be a bad gun and could be the worst gun, but... It is my worst gun for that simple reason, and also my least favourite, but, um... Yeah, there, there are quite a few guns in Black Ops 2, which you can say is your least or best. Of course, you can leave that in the comment section below. But, uh, yeah, the the gun itself has has a little bit of drag to it. I don't know how to explain it. I wish I could give you like a raw demonstration of all the other assault rifles and show you how this gun is accurate. But at close range, it, it can be unpredictable. And that's another thing I want to talk about, is unpredictability. That's just one of the annoying things about this gun, is you can predict it at long range, but at close range, when you don't aim down the sight, when you hip fire, it is so unpredictable. And that can get very frustrating, especially at small amounts when you try and get long kill streaks. So it's not my least favourite gun. Well, actually, it's not my least favourite gun, but I think it's the worst gun to put in all perspective for Black Ops 2. But um, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed that. Of course, we did lose. It's pretty much becoming a guarantee that if I pick best or worst gun, in fact, I always seem to lose the match. But um, so if you have seen me in the lobby with you and I'm doing one of these best or worst guns and you're on your opposite team, you probably won that already. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it because uh, I actually quite enjoyed doing this gameplay. It's quite fun. So hopefully you guys, I'll do some more of your personal favourites or other YouTubers' favourites or worst, least favourite guns, in fact. But until next time, you guys, hope you've enjoyed it. Goodbye!